Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for iOS Today is provided by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's trivia day. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. We've got lots of great trivia games for you. I will show you what you can do with a stone of Kinshaw. <laughs> and I am still on the quest to live my best life with a workout app. You'll never get there, but it's time for iOS Today. iOS Today is brought to you by Texture. Access the world's most popular magazines anytime, anywhere using your smartphone or tablet. Try it free for 14 days at texture.com slash twit. And by Rocket Mortgage, by Quicken Loans. Home plays a big role in your life. That's why Quicken Loans created Rocket Mortgage. It lets you apply simply and understand the entire mortgage process fully so you can be confident you're getting the right mortgage for you. Get started at rocketmortgage.com slash iOS today. If you did, it wouldn't be your best life. You should, you just should True. give it up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Good, better, best. Never let it rest till your good is better and, and your, your better, better best. is best. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Leo Laporte. I'm Megan Maroney. <laughs> this is iOS Today, the show where we cover all the cool and interesting stuff about iPads, iPhones, Apple Watches, and Apple TVs, all the stuff with iOS. And, and Google Pixels. Yeah, no, I was wondering how that was going to work out. So you, this is actually really cool. You did this last year. Uh, Jason Howell, your co-host on this, uh, Tech News Weekly, uh, is, of course, the host of All About Android. You're the mm -hmm. host of iOS Today. So you have an iPhone. He has a Pixel 2 XL. And you're swapping, as you did last, mm -hmm. but this time you're doing it for six weeks. Six weeks. I what? thought we needed to push it a little bit just to really see if one of us can be turned. You didn't. You didn't get turned last year. No, we didn't. We didn't get turned, and I am having a lot better time this year. Like I don't know if it's Oreo or if it's this phone. The camera's amazing. Isn't that camera great? And I, I have to say, the camera does. I think beat the iPhone. I hate to say it. Not the front-facing camera, but the back-facing camera. Right, and also I. I mean, having learned how to sort of use the iPhone 10, I already like oh. I wasn't so ingrained. Like the iPhone 10. Well, first of all, iOS 11 especially on the iPad, changed a lot. And then the iPhone 10 changed a lot. There was like, we didn't yeah. have no more home button. And so I think my mind was already used to- You're not in the rut to, like, anymore. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so um, honestly, my only complaints are all Apple's fault. Like they suck you into that ecosystem. And any of you out there who have friends who've switched to Android, you know how annoying it is. They're not messages getting your messages. Messages alone uh, yeah. is a big problem. Group yeah. chat. So we'll, we can get a little into that later, but- uh, I, I don't think I'll be turned. No, I use both. I use both exactly those phones. I have a Pixel 2 XL and, of course, an iPhone 10. Um, and I there I love them both for different reasons. I end up using the iPhone more because of the, as you say, the ecosystem. The fact that I have also have the iPad and a Mac and an Apple Watch. And, you know, it's come to the point now. And this, is, by the way, is the funniest thing. But I've always said this. Whatever makes somebody love the Apple Watch, it's, it's usually a different thing for everybody. It's like, it's a different vertical. So you really like to exercise, I know, because I keep getting your messages. I know, you're still, you're... are you still getting my workout alert? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, we'll talk All a little bit time. about what you can do with the Apple Watch. So that's, prepared. but for you, but for me, and we talked about it a few weeks ago, drafts, mm -hmm. the ability for me, because my, one of my big things is I don't remember stuff very well. I have lots of little, yeah, everybody has this, this is life. You have lots of little loose ends mm -hmm. floating around and, you go, oh, yeah, I got to remember to do that. Oh, yeah, I got to remember to do that. And you never do. So drafts, which we talked about, and if you haven't seen that, that was my app cap about a, a month ago, lets me on the Apple Watch just tap, and I made it a, a complication on my Apple Watch, just tap the drafts complication up here in the upper right-hand corner. Don't forget to watch TV tonight. That's, that's really important. Really important. Really. And now that's that goes into drafts. And that's recorded. And then at the end of the day, I go into drafts on my iPad and I look at all the things, you know, that I've that I've made a note of, including don't forget to watch TV tonight. Really? That must have been you. <laughs> <laughs> and I can process this. And this is something I can't do on iOS. I mean, on uh, on uh, the uh, Google Pixel on, on Google. 
save to recommendation list. And now that's, you know, so it's, it was one little thing, but that then the whole ecosystem coalesced for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, one th regret, I don't have a desktop version of Draft, so that's all iOS focused. But I, you know, I just I end up kind of in the Apple ecosystem, and that's and that is something that uh, Android and Google don't have. They they can't really do. Mm -hmm. Even if you use a a Chromebook, it's not quite the same. Um, they you know they coexist. They don't channel you. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what happens. I'll be very interested. Yeah. I think you'll go back to iOS. I'm yeah. pretty sure. I, I think I probably will, but I am appreciating this phone. But let's get to more important What are we going to do matters. today? What's our subject of the, of the day? <laughs> very important trivia. It's, it, even the name says it's important, right? <laughs> yes. So tri H, Trivia HQ, is that what you call it? HQ trivia? HQ is the trivia. Boy, is it taking the world by storm. And one of the ways they're doing it is by giving money away. So the funny thing is there's nothing special about this except for... The money. The money. And Scott, the host. He's pretty special. Yeah, but lately Scott's been uh, been uh, missing. Well, he was he at CES. He went to CES. and Yeah, Scott's good. Uh, although he's really... Okay, can I say something bad sure. about Scott? Oh, um, I like you, Scott. You're a good-looking guy. You're talented. You're very funny. But basically, he's taken Mark Maron's shtick. Oh. And put... <laughs> <laughs> but that's what comics do, right? But I don't feel like it's completely original, his wow. shtick. Does he curse a lot? <laughs> no, except for that part. Okay. But, uh, but what is, so I think it's the money. The downside of it is you can only play it twice a day, right? Uh, three, what is it? 9 p.m. Uh, it's uh, 3 p.m. And, and 9 p.m., something that like that. Because right. the East Coast time, it's noon and, noon and 6. But and, and you can't you can't win that much money really. Well, I mean, you can Sunday win, like, nights they gave away uh, they so the pot changes. Sometimes it's a thousand dollars, and remember now hundreds of thousands of people are playing mm -hmm. this game. It's the same time. It's a live trivia game. We could show a little bit of the video we shot uh, last time we showed this game, just so you can get an idea. You get eleven questions, right? Mm -hmm. And if you miss one, you're knocked out. It's over for you unless. You have an extra life, and you get an extra life by, of course, telling other people about it and getting them to sign up for HQ Trivia. If you get an extra life, then you can miss two questions, but that's it. If you get all 11 right, then you're in a pool with all the other people who got all 11 right. And usually it starts kind of easy, and then it gets harder and harder. And by the time they get to the ninth or tenth question, it's so hard that this pool gets whittled down to maybe a, a dozen people, 20 people like that. Sometimes they have huge pots. They've had $10,000. I think they've even gone bigger than that. I think the most people win often is like $80 or something. No, I've seen people win more than that. But you're right. It, because it's the pots divided by the number of people who get mm -hmm. to the end. What's happening, and I think this is actually kind of cool, is people are playing in groups. So they play the lunchtime game. 3 p.m. our time. They play the lunchtime game. Is it 3 p.m. our? I can't. I'm, I'm getting all confused because of the time change. They play the lunchtime game uh, in large groups. And, uh, but yeah, there's an image of a large group playing. Yeah, here's uh, someone that, just airdropped this photo to me. I have no idea who, but. I think that's the Verge or it's Mashable. <laughs> no, that's you. Oh, that's me. That's you at our Christmas party. Oh, we played it at our Christmas <laughs> like, party. I think that's the editor of the Verge, Leo Laporte. That's uh, Leo Laporte. I'm in uh, charge that's your of. your wife. Yeah. That's your priest. So we played it. We still didn't get to the end. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I think it does help to have a group, obviously. One person can't know the answer to everything. But the problem is you got to know who to trust in your group because somebody could shout out a bad answer mm -hmm. and everybody goes, yeah, that must be it. That's usually me. <laughs> and then you're out, right? You, so it's one of those games I've never won. And it's one of those games where you keep coming back hoping to win, I guess. And because and of Scott, who's funny. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm not crazy. I think there's better games. So let's some, show you something yeah, you can some play without. Issues too, By the way, yeah. HD, H, HQ is free, mm -hmm. which is nice. You can only play twice a day is the downside. And it's very, very hard. It's really hard trivia. 1.4 million players. Yeah. Whoa. And they're working on international versions because people were complaining that they were too American. The questions were too American. Yeah. Um, so It's hard. Okay, there's the times. What did it say? Let's show that again. 9 p.m. This is Eastern. And, and 3 p.m., which is noon and 6 for us. Play in a group, but definitely, that's that's a tip. Um, well, it's not necessarily a tip. Well, play in the right. right group. Yeah. But, you know, have you ever gone to... You've played bar trivia. Yeah. I know. I played with your parents. Yeah. 
And you were there. Yeah, and you were there. <laughs> and you were there. Yeah, you and were very good at it. Bar trivia is really fun because that's a group. It's a social setting. Right. You're drunk. And you get all of the questions and you get to answer all the questions and then they score you at the end. Yeah. This isn't like that. This is a knockout every time. Mm -hmm. um, this, in the segment that I like to call This Is Not the App You're Looking For, I found one called like tri that Q Trivia or something. Uh, that's not it. It's Q Live Trivia. Yeah. Well, yeah the, it was created by somebody who tried to invest in HQ but couldn't. Cute, yeah, that's well, not it. So. It's all. It don't don't feel bad about that. Although that is a really a direct copy, but don't feel bad about that because they're all really copies of, you know, the very first trivia game, and I wish it was on iOS. It's not. Was you don't know Jack? Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. From that Berkeley like a, Systems. Was it in a board game first? Or there it is. Yeah. Y D K J, and you can't play it on your desktop. The thing about that, it really inspired. I think. Um, HQ and and I should be, actually let's 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 go even farther back. Trivial Pursuit, the mm -hmm. board game, was really the, when when the trivia craze began, wasn't it? I think so. People have always liked trivia questions, but I think Trivial Pursuit, the board game. Remember, you get a pie and you mm -hmm. get wedges in the pie, and you go all the way around. Yeah. And no one will ever play it with me because I'm very. Competitive. I would. I love that game. I, I think it's fun, and they had different packs. And so you don't know Jack. Same thing. You don't know Jack had a. Uh, um, uh, hyper excited announcer. Wow, you know the Jack kind of thing, and and lots of graphics. It was very much like HQ is, uh, and it's fun. I wish they you could play it on the desktop, I guess, but yeah. you can't. Okay, Quiz Up is one of my favorites. I think Quiz Up's great. We before. showed that a long time um, ago. Yeah. Do you? What, what should we do? General knowledge, U.S. presidents, Disney movies. What do you? Now I haven't played it in a while. One of the problems with Quiz Up when it first started was the questions were not great, and some had wrong answers. But they they uh, did encourage players to come up with stuff. Pick something. I don't care. Let's do general knowledge. Let's do general You're knowledge. You're good at general they, knowledge. Uh, I'm good at everything. Oh, one or three. Not Harry oh, Potter. Oh, I have to follow. Okay. Human body. No, I'm not good at the human body. <laughs> <laughs> Food. Why can't science. you play? What's going on? I think I have to pick uh, some categories. Oh, and then, and then they mix it in? Dismiss. No, I okay. don't want... Okay, sounds good. Um, it's, yeah, the, I was, this was an app cap a long time ago. Oh, my gosh. I have to sign have to in. Sign in. See, I can't do it anymore. I took Facebook off everything. Oh, no. And you can't sign in with Facebook? Even well, you, you can. You just have to log in yeah. by hand. It's, mm -hmm. it's like savages. Yeah. <laughs> you took, wait, so you took Facebook off everything? Logos was fun. Remember we played Quiz Up with Logos? That was a lot of fun. I remember that. Yeah. Okay, let's play Quiz Up. All right, ready? Yeah. We're playing against Cipriano. Yeah, what's nice about this is head-to-head -head against real people. Mm -hmm. Round ready? one. Christopher Columbus called the North American Indians because he thought he landed in India. Yeah. That was an right. easy one. <laughs> They're Indians. Keith, Keith Richards, Richards and Mick Jagger. Jagger members of what band since 1962? The Rolling Beatles. The Rolling Beatles. <laughs> Round three. Who is the brother of Nintendo's Italian plumber Mario? Ooh. Hey, Mario, must be Luigi, eh? These are pretty easy. They're very easy. But that's, you know, they're smart to make it easy. Like, why not make it easy? Right. Make you feel good. Uh, two, three, five, seven, nine. No, wait a minute. Prime numbers. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Does there two, are there two elevens there? No, no, I don't think so. What is the base ingredient of a gazpacho? No, guacamole. I'm trying to throw you. This is so, so easy. That's fried chicken. Oh, what it, part of the chicken sometimes is called the drumstick? That would be a leg, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah. I think we're beating this guy. I think are we, we beating are. him? Is yeah, it showing his? Uh, oh, dub okay. Double. Pixar is responsible for completely first. What was it? Uh, it actually was Luxo. Oh, it was Tron. No, it was Luxo. But anyway. First anime. Okay, I won. You beat that guy. Okay. So Did somebody say streak? You have a streak of one. Um, <laughs> all right. So I think that's a great trivia yes. game. Here's a one a little bit different um, called Quiz Tales. Quiz Tales. Um, let's, I think I need to start over with this one. Um, where do you have one? I have one. Why, okay, you while you one. start, while you start over, actually, I should start over too. So let me, because I don't want to, I want to start at the beginning. This is, if you like Jeopardy, that's the world's favorite favorite quiz game so this is i guess against real people i don't know i'm gonna tap the power ups that's the uh, completely useless slot machine uh animation don't know why now let's play you've played jeopardy now 
There are other, um, you, you can play Jeopardy on the Amazon Echo, for instance, and it has Alex's voice. This category is a ballet, the Bible, and zoology. I'm playing against Joe and Eli Nathan. I think these are real people. I'm going to pick the Bible for 600. Mm. Jesus told many of these short stories. With parables. Double what are parables? <laughs> you guys say, what are? What are parables, Alex? What are parables? Good. Uh, Joe school. got it wrong. Eli Nathan is taking... The 1943 ballet Mother Goose Suite is danced to music by this bolero composer. Who is Maurice Ravel, Alex? Let's see. Let's see if we can beat these punters. Joe has zero points. Joe is not so good at this. Zoology. It's a daily double. Let's wager everything, Alex. The term for the hair below a Clydesdale's knees is the same as a common word for a bird plumage. I'm going to say... Is it feathers, quills, or down? I think, Ooh. what is down? No, oh, it's feathers. feathers. It is feathers. I lost everything. What is feathers? I'm, I'm zero. We gotta, I got to come oh, Joe back. Joe is still negative. Joe, Joe lost two. The only bears that carry young on their backs are sun bears, panda bears, or sloth bears. Panda bears. On their backs. Wow, it got panda hard. Bears. I might get strike three here. What are panda bears? Uh, <laughs> sloth bears. What the hell is a sloth bear? Pandas aren't bears. Oh, Everybody knows sorry. that. This was Peter's original name. What is Esau? No, oh, Simon. 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 Peter. Simon. Alex says <laughs> that Alex was a says, tough round. You don't know the Bible. But yeah, next round. <laughs> so I'm playing badly, but that's okay because I'm going to come back and beat Eli Nathan. Let's start with. <laughs> Biblical people for 1,200. <laughs> when David said how the mighty have fallen, he was referring to the deaths of this king and his son, Jonathan, who is Saul. All right, let's go. I'm going to come back. I'm going to beat these punters. No messing around now. No messing yeah. around now. Hets, I can do sewing terms with the best of them. It's an edge that extends over another edge or of the part of the Santa you sit on. Lap. <laughs> That's the part of the Santa. That's the I part of the on. Santa you sit on. The lip. What, what the hell? <laughs> All right, I'm winning again. Fish for twelve hundred, Alex. <laughs> the American Paku is closely related to this feared predator, but it only eats plants. What is the piranha, Alex? The piranha only eats it's plants. No, no. The Paku only eats plants. Oh. The, the piranha eats whatever <laughs> it gets thrown. Male pipefish of an unusual pouch on the abdomen in which they carry these eggs. Um, Isn't that funny? They're men. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you wish you were a fish? Sewing terms for 800. When this adjective precedes edge, it means unfinished, not uncooked. I think it's a raw edge, isn't it? So, double jeopardy. I oh, think you're winning. I'm winning. We won't. Should we do final jeopardy? It's only one more question. Yes. Obviously. Final jeopardy. Paint it black. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wager every penny I have. It's military slang for coffee or a thick dog. Black dog. Black strap or black tar? What is Coffee? black strap, oh. Alex? See, I'm the one that yells out things that are wrong. <laughs> You're the one not to have on the team. <laughs> nice game, says Alex. Anyway, who black doesn't strap. love Jeopardy? I, I, love I wish Jeopardy. there were a little more Alex in this. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why they do the slot machine, but it's free. Mm -hmm. It's free. So Jeopardy, you know, that's, uh, that's America's favorite trivia game. All right, now I'm getting to America's other favorite trivia game. It's called Quiz Tales. I don't I've never know this, heard this one. before, but it's uh, it's made for the iPad. You don't have to turn or anything. So I like um, that. It's, it's a Pharo, isn't it? Oh, it it's is. telling you the answer. I think we're still in the the T testing phase. Tutorial. tutorial. Nature and bio. A mongoose would typically feed on which of the snakes, Alex? Oh, <gasps> earthworms. Oh, I'm the I guy who shouts out the wrong thing. Doesn't seem right. Well, I guess if you can't get a snake, it'll eat an earthworm. Just have to give the... Okay, true or false answer. Vatican City is the smallest nation in the world. I think that's true. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> oh, this is more for kids, isn't it? Well, and it gives... I don't know. I didn't know that. I wanted to know that about the Vatican City. Oh, it's got bluesy harmonica, too. <laughs> and you get so a prize. I, I picked a prize. These are your rewards. Depending on how well you played, you get experience, stars, gold, and various items. This looks fun. I don't want trivia to be too hard, but I want it to be hard enough so that I feel like I did something, right? So I'm going to tap kind of, I don't know. It's hard to do trivia well. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, are you when a you hero? you enough experience, your hero levels 
up. Yeah. I want to level up. Your hero up. is that horse with no name. <laughs> the blurry horse. Why is he blurry? I think he's underwater, maybe. I don't. That's a the really... whole game is blurry. <laughs> what the hell? How can a game be blurry? Oh, oh. Okay. Get out of there. <laughs> Gold, Gold gets, gets you, you nowhere. nowhere. Okay. Stars, baby. This is your hero's level. Raise it to gain access to the new features. Okay. Press that button that okay. the finger is pointing at. <laughs> okay. How about that? I don't want outfits. I want to tap here. So you get to... Oh, this is one of those games. I want to purchase They're going to get you to buy stuff. Oh, are they? Yeah. Fresh candy. But it is a... Okay. In what year was the United Nations established? Okay, so I'm going to roll the dials. Okay, so what year do we think? 45? 1945. 45. Okay. Equip it to get... This is complicated. <laughs> it is. I mean, there's a lot of uh, explication here. Uh, you're equipping... I might play this, though. This looks fun. Okay, I want to push. Some, mm, put some candies in the thing. Put some candy... Socketed items give you partial protection from some categories and or luck or gold or experience bonus, depending on the properties of the item. If you equip an item with plus three resistance in history, your history questions will be 3% easier. I don't know Got if this it. is for kids. Got it. No, it's not anymore. Uh, this is a bit complicated. Well, you've got now a little buff. That's what we call in the trade a buff. Okay. You've got a history buff. Okay. Can I press play and play? Sure. Trivia? Let's okay. go. Let's try it. Okay. So they've kind of added a questing uh, level to this mm. and make it more um, nuclear. Okay. You missed so. the horse hit. Wow, we're playing against a doggy. In terms of geopolitics, what does EU stand for? <laughs> I think you know that one. <laughs> this is cute. Mm -hmm. Are you playing a real person or just a pug? I think I'm just playing a pug. Gabriel Fahrenheit, that might be a clue, was credited with the invention discovery of the parachute. Now the parachute, the Fahrenheit parachute. Everyone knows that. Where is Notting Hill located? In London. Because Hugh Grant lives there. That's how I know that. Games. Which of the following is a planet? Oh. Oh, I have Azeroth. no idea. Azeroth. Azeroth, Azeroth. Azeroth is a planet in World of Warcraft. Azeroth. Yeah. I don't know if planet's the right word, though. Okay. Is Azeroth a planet? I think it's a land. I don't think it's a planet. All right, so this is maybe for younger people who want to spend a lot of time with their trivia. And it's called Quiz Tales from Crab Work. Oh, should we play? Uh, we could we could play in 15 minutes. We could play the Q trivia game. Oh, oh the Q want. trivia game. Yeah, I'd actually like to see that one. It's funny that they made a competitor a copy. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Um, uh, let's see. Trivia, trivia. I think I'm out of trivia. Okay, well, so there's Well, one... I'm going to show you one more trivia. Okay. It's not really trivial. <laughs> but I play it every day because it's brain training. Uh -huh. And I picked this before. But I think it's kind of like playing a trivia game. If you're going to play a game, so I, I, this is what prompted all this. And I think I mentioned this before. There was an article in Science Magazine that said it turned out that the best way to fight Alzheimer's is to develop more neurons. And in particular, the best kind of training is speed training. I don't know why. So I looked at all of the different trivia games. I looked at, P uh, not trivia games, brain training games, Lumosity, Peak. And I actually really like Elevate. Although I have to say at this point, it might be that you want more than one. Because what happens, these are all the different it has a lot of categories. And by the way, I paid the whatever it was, 25 bucks a year for access to everything. You have games, you can study categories. Publics in the categories are public speaking, speed reading, math, vocabulary building. Do you want should we just do a quick training cuz I haven't done that today's training. I'll just yes. show you what it's like. So this is Elevate. I really like this one, but it is as all of the brain training games are, you have to do a little bit, you have to pay a little bit to get full access. 650 what the it's 109 what what is it 50 100 and uh, five and one two three four okay that's see so speed and you get bonus for speed right so that's uh 10 8 what is it uh 10 makes 50 and 48 they did one two three so i haven't had any speed bonuses yet oh my god 954 divided by nine 
That's a hundred and a hundred. Didn't I just do this one? Nine times five, six. One hundred six. You oh, you knew it. You said it. One hundred and eight. I shout things out. Uh, I, no, you're good. See, I got a speedy answer there. So that's kind of what you're trying to do is get speedy answers. Uh, let's see. 20, that's uh, th uh, no, 20, 20, 20. What is it? 20. 29. No. Uh, what is it? 29. I'm giving you a hand. 29. 20, 60, 99. 4, 2, 3, 4. Very good. Threw me with your side. I threw it. Oh, this is this should be an easy one, right? Because it's twenty four, twenty four, but divided by twelve is two hundred two. Right, that should be easy, and that would be. Yes, twelve. <laughs> Very good. So we've completed it, and then they score you, and you get. Oh, it crashed, and then oh. it crashes. Because your brain was working. So wow, hard. that's not good. Do I have to play it all over again? No. But I didn't get to see what my score was. Let's see what my score was. Well, I don't want to play it again. You can play it again. You do five games. They're in a lot of different categories. Math is hard. Uh, but <laughs> you'd probably be good at reading. Reading is, is good. Symptoms of an asthma attack include wheezing and coughing. Do I need any? No, no punctuation necessary. Oh, it said I need a comma? Uh, I don't think so. so. Russian-born author. Dash. There's a comma there. No, the, it's oh, a I see. Russian-born. Oh, I see. Adjective. Yeah, you're right. You're right. First game of basketball was played on Monday, comma, December 21st, 1891. Most people have 32 teeth by their teenage years, no mark. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So this is good. You'd be good at this because you're a writer. New Zealand is the first country to introduce women's, women's suffrage. Colon? Oh, semicolon? I don't I know. I would put a semicolon there, yeah. but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I comma. I change the sentence totally. Colon? Two clauses that could stand alone. I would just say When New the second Zealand's clause expands upon... I don't put, I think that's wrong. I disagree. It should be a semicolon. I think so. The moonflower bush, which has large trumpet shaped flowers, blooms nothing. Nothing. Very good. Forms of London's three most popular boys' baby names. Uh, apostrophe. Yes. Because it's a possessive. The asconitum flower is beautiful to observe, comma, but it is one of the most deadly somethings. Ooh. I never finish the sentences. Oh, no. That was you apostrophe, but I didn't get there. Why didn't you? So now it's going to show. I didn't do oh, great, you know, and I didn't get a high score, and I only got one speedy answer. So I'm going, the brain training I'm trying to go for, and you see this is previous times. This is lower than I've done previously. So it keeps track of all of that, which is really nice. 87% correct. So, and it gets harder as you do it. There are many, many, if you look at the games list, uh, there are many, many different uh, kinds of games you can play in writing, in listening. By the way, the one I'm terrible at, listening. <laughs> are you surprised? No. <laughs> are you? <laughs> the one I'm good at, diction, speaking rather. Yes. Reading, math. And again, it's a, it's about speed training. I really like Elevate. Now, I asked my mom, who's 85, I thought, Mom, you should try this. She said, no, I don't like those brain training games. It bothered her. Oh. So, uh, so there you have it. But there are a number of them. I like Elevate. But what I'm starting to realize now that I've played it for, I've been playing it for about a month or two, um, is that you may get tired of one and want to move to another one. So maybe get the monthly subscription This because I bought a year's worth. And I think by the end of a year, I will have kind of done it all and I don't think it'll be as useful. Remember, keep the brain nimble by changing things all the time. And that's one thing about trivia. As fun as trivia is, it's one. It's like just doing crosswords. Mm -hmm. It's nice to mix it up a little bit. Right. What else you got there? I've got Song Pop 2, which is a, kind of a name that tune game. Oh, this was big, fun. wasn't it? Yeah, and this is a new one. So Let's play. Um, I love songs. Let's play a new game. Um, pick an opponent. Opponent. What you want to pick, Claude? Let's just play yes. anybody. Claude looks scary. <laughs> Let's challenge him. Uh, what do you want to challenge him to? Anything. I'm. 2014 I'm, best pop. Okay, ready. I don't know any of these. You'll you'll know them though. Me Shut up and dance. Fancy. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is like real music. I don't know it. Ugly heart. Dark horse. Dark horse. Amazing! Three in a row, it said. Route 94, Coldplay. Coldplay. Oh, you are too good at this. <laughs> the 
drink it out loud. <laughs> Legendary, five in a row. A new high score, 12,949. And that poor Rasputin-looking guy, he's just... <laughs> well, I guess now he's he, playing he on his own. He gets to play. Oh, okay. Um, so this is fun. I like that. Um, now, you can, would you rather see ads or try one month of VIP? Let's see how much it costs. Um. Oh, I guess I'm playing Congratulations, <laughs> you don't get to know. You lost. I how, how, how could you? How could, no, that wasn't your score. That must be another time. Yeah, maybe it was the last time I played against Hannah. All right, let's beat let's, Hannah. Yeah, let's beat Hannah. Best pop of 2014. She thinks it's pills and potions, so I'm going to... Oh, she was wrong. Oh, that's interesting that you get her guesses. Yeah. Me? I think it's a sky full of stars. It ain't booty. So good at love, me, love harder. me harder. Yes. Ha ha! <laughs> Take that, Hannah. Oh, that's Ed Between the sheets, Ed Sheeran. I don't know any of this stuff. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go with what she's going. It's not Coldplay. <laughs> I know that. So that's interesting. I think you you beat her just because you played strategically. Ah, uh, that yes. was smart. I cheated. If you don't know, pick what she picks. You can't do worse than mm -hmm. her, right? Yeah. Strategically. Okay, but I presume you could play something that isn't... Let's see the other categories. Get Essential rap. Okay, uh, do you want karaoke party? Best of 1989? We might be good at that. Uh, One Republic? No. Okay, pre, so... Pre-50s? 1950s? Yeah. Pre yeah, no, no, not pre-50s. 1960s I could do, though. Okay, let's do the 60s. I could totally do this. Old uh, 1960 number one hits? Yeah, let's do that. I don't know if I'll know those. This is going to be hard. Okay. Oh, now, see, you don't own this playlist. You have to buy it for $499. Oh. <laughs> That's not how much money it is. It's probably 499 coins. Yeah. So, okay, so we get the idea. Oh, okay. You no, need, I don't want coins. You need more coins. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's one of them. Um, try it for free. Okay, let's... There you go. 12 by 12 old school. I can probably do this one pretty okay. good. Okay. So, so you do get some... You well, do you do get some games. Well, what? It's... It's not that free. <laughs> no. How much well, was it? $5 it for... It said try it for free. Try it for free. I want to try it for free. <sighs> free coins. <laughs> oh, I don't I like know, this I don't game. Wanna, okay. I, I like this game, but I don't like this game. I don't like the, all the ads and stuff. You either, know, that's but, too bad. Um, Song Pop 2. Lots of ads. Um, trivia Crack. Have you played that? No, but it sounds like uh, that sounds like my game. I um, forgot about Quiz Up. Yeah. That was all the rage for a while. I'm mm -hmm. so glad that you brought that back. I might put that back on my... Yeah, I really we like that. We were playing that like crazy we were. a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah there's, so, there's so many. There's one that I couldn't quite figure out how to do that's from Ellen that's like Heads Up, but it's oh. called Psych. You could, play, you, you could play Heads Up with Ellen? Yeah, well, let's play it. Um, psych is you make up fake answers and then you try to guess what oh, the Oh, so it's the like right Heads Up is. with Psych with, with fake answers. Yeah, okay. so... But I think awkwardly um, you, stare at the leader until they tell you the secret code. Then so here, you'd have to be the leader, or I would. You have, have to, to join. You, you were trying to join a game. Yeah. So, so you need to start a game. Okay. Play this so, deck with Ellen. Okay, but I better. I ha oh, you can play it with Ellen. You don't have to don't get know. me to do something. I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't get this to play by my. But it looks good. Psych. <laughs> Outwit your friends. It's probably just better on the iPhone, too, which I don't have. Oh, it's an iPhone think. game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good to know about anyway. Yeah. It's free. Psych. It's free. She That, that does not look like Ellen, by the way. That's not, that's <laughs> no. Not, that's not Ellen. Okay. Um, so lot, lots, lots. I love Ellen, though. Of... I told you that, right? That's my secret shame. Really? Mm -hmm. More than Oprah? You love her more than Oprah? Are you love watching the game or Ellen herself? I think I love her more than Oprah. Mm. I'd vote for her for president. Hmm. She'd be a terrible person. Well, she has no attention span at all. <laughs> she, you'd be in the Oval Office. She'd go, I, I, and she'd press a button, and you'd fall through a hole in the floor. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, it would be. Okay, uh, there's your trivia. Train, oh wait, you have more trivia? No, that's oh, it. I said another good way to train your brain is by reading magazines. Uh, another way to get good at trivia is to read magazines. Actually, that's true. You want to know how I got so good at trivia? Texture. That's a lie. But <laughs> I do actually love texture. In fact, it's funny because Lisa, um, yesterday, she was working out in the gym and she just shouted. I wasn't even around. I love texture. <laughs> texture is, is true. This is not, I'm not making that up. 
Uh, texture is like Netflix for magazines, like 200 mag, 200 of the best magazines, not just like junky magazines, but like really all the best magazines that you want for very, for one flat rate and such good magazines. So basically everything, there are a couple magazines that Texture hasn't been able to do a deal with, but none of them I want to read. Everything from Cosmo to the Atlantic, from Time Magazine to Consumer Reports, National Geographic to Dwell. I love Dwell and House. I love to look at uh, at different places, you know, that I could maybe someday have. They have curated sections too, which is nice. This is stories just for me. Uh... Navigating a World of Bullies, mm -hmm. Stop the Chit Chat, and Tiffany Haddish, From Trauma to Triumph. Mm. Not sure why those are just for me, but okay. Are you New logged in? Uh, oh, you know what? <laughs> I those share, are just for I Lisa. share Lisa's account. <laughs> now I remember. Uh, so this is great, though. Daily news featuring writers. You can put a, a texture on up to five devices, including iPhones, iPads, Android devices. So like, you don't have to, on your Pixel 2 XL, give up. Mm -hmm. Top 10 reads. Um, and, and so because Lisa and I can share a account, basically. So I have it my iPad. But I do not travel without texture. Because I, and you, by the way, when you favorite a magazine, it becomes part of your library, downloads automatically. That's Lisa's, not mine. Uh, Dwell, Ad Week, Consumer Reports, Rolling Stone. There's always something I want to read in the New Yorker, the Rolling Stone magazine, Atlantic. Uh, and you could subscribe. Sure, Vanity Fair. You could subscribe to all those. But so much easier just to have it available for you on texture whenever you want to read it. And it, by the way, it's everything that's in the magazine, all the pages. What I love is as you go through the table of contents, see, they've actually, Vanity Fair has actually tuned this for reading on an iPad. So they tell you short reads under five minutes, medium reads five to ten minutes. Let's, let's look at long reads. Uh, the other Harvey Skip, being blunt, I love Emily Blunt. Oh, look at that. Now, this is another thing. This is a picture of Emily. But in a magazine, you know, they screen it. You can't, you can't zoom in on it. But you can see all the detail. It's really nice. They've done a great job. So if you like photography magazines, this is absolutely the best way to look at a magazine. Whether it's news, politics, um, you know, gossip, travel. How to. How to. Technology. I like it. Texture's my me time. Like, I take my texture, I lock my door, I say, I lay in bed, and I say, nobody bother me, I'm texturing. I love it. I and, just love it. Just Never realize. again will you go to the dentist's office and have to, have to read highlights for children from four years ago. You can read popular science from this month, or people are, oh, you like Oprah, I know you do. I do. Real simple. You want to cook? Oh, man, they have all the cooking magazines. See, I probably wouldn't subscribe to them all, but I love having the recipes anytime I want. Texture. Go to texture.com slash twit to start your free trial. And if you choose to subscribe, we're going to give you a special deal. You actually get it for over 30% off the list price, $9.99 a month. What a, what a deal to get every magazine you'd ever want with no more coffee table clutter, no more guilt because you didn't read last week's. I love it. Time Magazine. Oh, look. Oh, look. It's uh, BB-8 on the cover of Time Magazine this week. It's Person of the Year. Oh, and see, this is another thing. This does it not is. happen on the print magazine. <laughs> He's moving around. He's making noise. Look at that. That's the cover of Time. I love that. So, texture. <laughs> oh, there's R2. Go to texture.com slash twit to start your free trial. See, this is what I love about this. Magazines love being on texture so much, they're creating special content just for texture. Because that's not in Time Magazine. See, that's so. I guess there's more than that's interesting. So Time has multiple covers this week, right? You get them all in Texture. Mm -hmm. Texture. dot com slash twit. Get thirty percent off if you decide to subscribe. I just go to Texture and I type how to live my best life. That's that's her <laughs> her goal in life. Uh, okay, so um, there's an app mm -hmm. that apparently can impregnate you. Me. That would be something. Uh, Actually, it's a miracle either way. <laughs> it helps to, you get pregnant. Uh, well, it can impregnate you without you knowing, apparently. No, that's <laughs> not true. There's. <laughs> what, do, do you know? Do you not know how it works? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just love this headline: contraceptive app under fire for causing unwanted oh. pregnancy. It's not funny. It's not an unwanted no, pregnancy. No, but it's a rhythm funny, app, right? The, it's using the rhythm right, method. Right, but apparently, and everyone knows. <laughs> 
God knows I do. <laughs> the rhythm, I have two kids to prove it. The rhythm method is not completely reliable. What do you mean you have two kids to prove it? You no. didn't want those two kids? No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Just kidding. But the idea of the rhythm method is that you... Uh, well, I don't know how deeply we want to get into this. You look it up on Wikipedia, kids. Okay, so the idea but, is you use but these. If apps you to... use, this use this app to help you know when you're ovulating, mm -hmm. which makes what you, which would help you tell your prime time, mm -hmm. right? But you, apparently, this app would also say, "Well, stay away from that, mm -hmm. and you won't get pregnant." But that's not true. Yeah, but I just love the headline. Didn't you learn that in high school? Yeah. Well, the headline just is implies it's the app's fault. It's not the app's fault. No. Um, Under fire. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I from it's what a I Swedish understand. hospital. When I was trying, they, they didn't, we didn't have iPhones when I was trying to get pregnant back in the day. Um, it would help you get pregnant, okay? It would. I think that's Don't what Don't use it for contraception. For. Yeah. It's called natural cycles. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. <sighs> but I think. You'd say maybe in Sweden they didn't teach them that in high school. <laughs> maybe not. Uh, I'm sorry. This is not funny, but I thought it was funny. So I'm not well, it's a strange sorry. headline. You're right. Uh, you don't blame the app, my friends. It takes more than an app to get um, yeah, but I saw the headline. And I was like, "Oh, you know, contraceptive app. It must be revealing people's privacy." It's probably not a contraceptive app. It's probably a fertility natural app. cycle. Sounds right? to me like a fertility I, app. Maybe their flaw was not having a big disclaimer on the front: "Do not attempt to prevent pregnancy using this app" or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, well, its own research suggests natural cycles is more effective than the contraceptive pill when used correctly. Oh, they shouldn't say that. No. <laughs> so it, it isn't just like one of those that keeps track. It uh, scans your body temperature oh, during the menstrual okay. cycle See, this is to different. notify women yeah. when it's safe to have unprotected sex. It is sex. not more effective than a contraceptive pill. I mean, it's really never safe to have unprotected sex. but For many reasons, not mm -hmm. merely pregnancy. But we don't have to tell you that because you learned that in high school, didn't you? <laughs> uh, so that that's it on that. Thanks for going down that women's health um, road At least 37 me. women who used... The Natural Cycles app to avoid pregnancy have have children anyway. Now the app is uh, is notified to the Swedish Medicines Agency. I think that's a Google Translate of the article. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's actually the Swedish Medicines Agency. Maybe it is. Be careful with your apps. You never know what they're able to do these days. Mm. Uh, Tony has a question. Now for your questions and answers. Tony has a question uh, and he sent us a video, which we love to get. Megan at twit.tv, send me a video. Oh, yay. Thank you, um, Tony. So let's play Tony's question. Leo was saying that he wouldn't recommend using the LastPass Authenticator app, something about not trusting it. I was wondering if you could just explain a bit more. I really like using the LastPass Authenticator app. It's fine. I do trust it. The reason why is this. Let me show you the screen here. Uh, when I'm logging into the LastPass and it asks for my code there, as you can see there on the screen, I get uh, on my phone this screen. All I have to do is touch allow. Yeah, I love that. It sends the code to my browser and allows me to get into the website. No need to manually type the code. It's all automatic because it's in the authenticator yes. app and somehow it sends it to the browser. Very, very convenient. Again. For, for a variety of websites, this works. So so I'm just wondering, Leo, what is your beef with the LastPass <laughs> Authenticator? Right? I feel like I'm in, I'm in the vice principal's office. <laughs> don't, don't you think you're sitting across the desk from the vice principal, Tony? I'm sorry, Tony. I'm sorry. I don't have a beef I, with it. I'm sorry. I agree with Tony. I The, the Authy, which you convinced me to install last week, doesn't, doesn't do, do the that. same thing. So let me explain. The It's not that it's unreliable or bad. It's that it's a single point of failure. You are already storing your password at LastPass. The whole point of two-factor authentication is if somebody got your password, that you would have a secondary method that's unrelated. And so the problem is if somebody hacked, let's say, worst case scenario, somebody, this is not going to happen, by the way. LastPass does a really good job. But let's say somebody hacked LastPass and got not only your password, but got the authenticator codes, which they can get. There's a secret number. That's how the authenticators work. If they got both... Uh, single point of failure, my point. So I agree with you, though. I really far prefer, I don't like, we know that text messages are the worst way to do second factor. Again, any second factor is better than none. It's always better to have a password and a code. But text messaging is bad because people can spoof your cell phone number. Uh, the 
a good method is like Google Authenticator or Authy or LastPass. LastPass does this. In fact, if you used one password, I would say go ahead and use LastPass. But it's because you're using LastPass and LastPass Authenticator that you can do that thing. Uh, and I find that risky. Uh, Microsoft's Authenticator, when you log in your Microsoft account, has the same thing. You don't have to enter a number. You just say yes, okay. I love that. If you want that feature with LastPass, LastPass supports many two-factor authentication methods. And uh, Steve Gibson said that this is, if you're going to do two-factor, doing what LastPass is doing here, which is just making you click a button on your phone, is actually a, a good way, a very good way to do it because you have to literally have to have the phone. That's what makes it a second factor. It's something you have. Uh, there are other two factors that will also do that. Duo security, for instance, is available if you use LastPass. And Duo Security works the same way. You put the Duo Security app on your phone. Uh, you log in with LastPass. You put in the password. And then, yeah, there you go. And then the phone will say, oh, uh, did you try to log in? Do you want to, is that okay? And you say yes. I, uh, this is exactly as convenient. In fact, in, I, it works in more situations than LastPass Authenticator does. It's exactly as convenient. So I recommend that instead if you want to do that. Again, you don't want to have one company have all the keys. The whole point of two-factor is to separate that. That's all. There's nothing wrong with LastPass Authenticator. I have, no re I have no reason to suspect it's not secure. I agree with you. I like what they're doing. And I like how they do it. But but that's the problem. So go ahead. If you're comfortable with it, it's, a, it's really a minor, minor thing. It's very unlikely that LastPass is going to get hacked, even if they did. Your password vault is encrypted. It's encrypted very, very well. LastPass does a great job of that. And you used a good password, right? Really long, unusual, random password that only you know. You're probably fine. Jeff also had a question. He sent us a video, too, and this is another oh, question. This is because I begged last week. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, Megan and Leo. I love the episode of iOS Today where the focus was security. What are your thoughts on LifeLock? Likes, dislikes, recommendations? Thanks. LifeLock is so controversial. Mm. And I, what I'm going to say is going to be controversial. Okay. I am a LifeLock subscriber. And by the way, as soon as the Equifax breach happened, I signed up Lisa and Michael for LifeLock as well. It's not cheap. It's expensive. And probably you don't need it. <laughs> uh, the reason I do it is because presumably I'm a target, right? Because I go on the, you know, the Internet and talk about security. That immediately makes you a target. Uh, and so I use it. But you'll see a lot of bad press about LifeLock. In fact, they were sued by a number of state attorneys general and lost and had to do a consent decree, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there are a couple of things at play here, though. Remember the politics of this. LifeLock started by putting fraud alerts on all of the credit reporting agencies. We know fraud alerts work and they're good, but the credit reporting agencies hate them because it it means, means they can't make money on you. They can't sell your information to companies trying to give you credit card offers, among other things. So they don't like fraud alerts. So they, they went after LifeLock, in my opinion, precisely because of this. And they got LifeLock to stop doing it with these lawsuits with the attorneys general, state attorneys general. And then the state attorneys general said, you can't claim certain things. Remember, LifeLock was the company where the CEO, foolishly, I might add, went around with his he put his social security number on billboards and on television and radio ads and said, hack me. And he got hacked many, 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 many times. It was a very bad idea. So let's talk about today's LifeLock, which is very different than the LifeLock I first subscribed to. Because that was, that was effective, putting fraud alerts. But they got stopped from doing that because the credit agencies. Now, you can do it by hand. In fact, you, you may want to do that. Put fraud alerts on all your accounts. It, it makes it hard to get credit because you have to unlock the fraud alert. And, oh, by the way, in many states, not all, but many states, the credit reporting agencies, Equifax, TransUnion, um, uh, the other one with an E, Experian, um, will charge you money to put the fraud alert on, to turn it off temporarily and to put it back on again. So I think these companies are evil. <laughs> Credit reporting agencies. I understand they're a necessary evil because there has to be some way for a, a lender to verify that you're good for it, right? And so that's why they exist. But they really don't exist uh, for you. And, and they don't like LifeLock at all because it gets in their way and they've been very aggressively pursuing LifeLock. What LifeLock does now, so let's talk about what they do now, 
is they if they realize that well you know we, we've now been prevented from doing the most effective thing so we're going to try credit monitoring and they do two things really credit monitoring or your know, account monitoring for you and they will do um uh, it's basically insurance. They'll help you if you do get your uh, identity stolen. It's basically insurance. They'll help you get it back. You're, you're getting, you know, a, a million dollars worth of remediation, that kind of thing. Uh, but let's talk about the monitoring. Monitoring is of maybe dubious value. Um, it's up. You'll have to think about this. What it does is it keeps an eye on your all your personal information. They, in order to make this more effective, they bought one of the companies that does all the back-end processing of credit cards. So they actually get more information than even your credit card company. They bought the company that your credit card company is probably using to monitor fraud, right? So they get a lot of information, a lot of signals. And I'll give you an example. We bought, uh, we bought a new, or leased a new car for Lisa uh, at Christmas time, and uh, they did, ran a credit report on her. She immediately got from LifeLock an alert somebody's checking your credit so it really does work and it was it was that's great to know because if you get that and you didn't apply for a loan that would be a big red flag so i think that's useful i should also point out her bank or one of her credit cards officers also offers credit monitoring for free as a customer so she got an alert from them too so that now whether they watch as many things as lifelock does that's not clear uh so in my opinion lifelock does has relationships with as many of the agencies that would be involved if you were to try to get a credit card or more importantly if a bad guy were try to get a credit card in your name so that's i find that useful uh, but you have to be the judge of it and then the secondary side of it which is they help you remediate your credit i think many people would find that useful there is nothing lifelock does probably that you can't do in a variety of ways for one thing you should always be looking at your credit report you can get your credit report free once a year which is not enough, but better than that than nothing from all th all three. Actually, there's now a fourth credit reporting agency, but the main, the big three. You should probably be doing that. You, do you check your credit card bills every single month to make sure that every single charge was one of yours? You should be doing that. These are all things you could do that would give you some some of the most of the same benefits for free of LifeLock. I choose to use LifeLock. I believe in LifeLock, and I do believe that a lot of what you're going to read, the negative press you're going to read. Uh, about LifeLock was really generated by the credit reporting agencies who didn't like this company because it cost them money. And so when you, I feel like I get free credit monitoring for all the hacks that I've been a part of, like, right. you know, from Target and Equifax. And is there some kind of standard on what cre credit monitoring is, or is it just like a vague term that people So here's PC guy things? in the chat room saying, well, LifeLock doesn't monitor all transactions. They say that in their disclaimer. Yeah, they have to. You know what transactions they don't monitor? Cash. <laughs> so uh, they can't no one can um i think you this is the thing that's hard to figure out and i don't know you want some you're right you can get credit monitoring in a variety of ways for free equifax will give it to you for free i'm not sure i would do a deal with equifax mm -hmm. but i'm not sure i would trust them by doing it with a third party that doesn't make money selling your your information lifelock um uh, you're, I think you're, you're maximizing the signals you're getting. See, you can ask your bank or your credit card to do that. Discover card says, yeah, we do free credit card monitoring. But do we know if they see as many things as LifeLock? Do we know how they do that? Some of these companies just make a deal with Experian or, or, or Equifax and say, well, just ping us if there's a, anything going on. Uh, that's a good start. LifeLock does that too, but LifeLock does more than that. And I don't want to do it. I'm not doing an ad for LifeLock. Although I should mention as a disclaimer, they have been an advertiser on the radio show. They're not anymore, but they had been in the past. But they were, an, I bought LifeLock more than a decade ago uh, and long before they ever advertised. And I continue to maintain a subscription. And in fact, I think it's important to have a subscription, not just for you, but for your kids as well. Because one thing credit thieves like to do is go after kids because they have, you know, clean records they can often get the birth certificate. It's, it's an easy thing to do. And more, more importantly than that, if a kid's credit is ruined, that's a, that's a lifetime of bad credit. So I think I, I believe in it. I spend several hundred dollars a year on LifeLock, and I believe in it. But it's controversial. Of course, it can't monitor everything. You can cobble together much of the same thing for free using a variety of services. You might want to at least do that. And, of course, with some effort, you can monitor your own credit pretty thoroughly i prefer just to put it on automatic and let it go and, and, and you know i i've seen it work and 
So that's good news. And we, by the way, my credit's never been frozen. I've never, I mean, stolen. I've never had a problem. So, yeah. We got an email from Brianna. She writes, where's the love for Key Pass? This was also about Love Key Pass. There you it's go. It's free there's and open the love. source. <laughs> it's a little more technical than LastPass, but I find it easier to use than one password. Plus, it has two-factor authentication in a key file. I would love it if I could use both my key file and an authy code, but I could require my Windows profile. I don't since I occasionally need to log into my partner's profile. So, By the way, Brianna, there's the answer why I don't recommend key pass. <laughs> you just, what you just said, if that scares anybody off, get LastPass or 1Password. <laughs> key pass is free. It's open source. Uh, but it is it is nowhere near as convenient. And actually, it's probably not as secure as other choices. There's another one uh, that's open source called Pass that uses uh, PGP encryption and uh, works very well and is very secure. But you have to know what you're doing, um, and and it's not nearly as convenient. Mostly, I use mm -hmm. uh, I like Last Password for the autofill capabilities, right? And that's one thing you're going to notice on mm -hmm. on the iPhone. It's not quite as easy to autofill. It just autofills everything. When you're setting up, probably you already experienced it yes. in Pixel 2. It, it just, you know, it says, can I, I can fill that in, I can fill that in. 1Password does that as well. I think they're both very good. And mm -hmm. For most people, that's the right solution. Not free, but, you know, not open source either, but good. Donna writes about your mom. Hi, you know, mom. Coming in, says, Mary is hilarious and so smart. I'm a fairly new listener to this podcast, but it's the second time I've heard her, and I just adore her. She reminds me of Clicking Clack's mom from Car Talk or David Letterman's mother. I'm 54, and I hope I'm half as tech savvy as her when I'm her age. What a gem. Oh. Leo really needs to stop trying to scoop his mother. <laughs> that was her line, wasn't it? Stop yes. trying to scoop me. Right. Yes, exactly. Well, we'll have to talk to Mary about coming uh, we're, on Oh, again. Oh, she, she'll, she's dying to come back. Okay, good, yeah. good. And I'm dying to have her back. It's great. <laughs> Uh, Josh from England, he wrote an interesting question. Why hasn't there been much development regarding the smart connector on the current iPad Pros? The only device accessory available is the smart keyboard. I was wondering what your thoughts were on it and why Apple or other companies haven't developed any other that's means to utilize question. the feature as it seems just to waste to be only used as a keyboard connector. So that's he's talking about these three dots at the bottom of the iPad Pro. Mm -hmm. That's the smart connector. And, the, you know, there are a lot of third-party keyboards. This is a, a Logitech Slim Keyboard Combo. See, so it has three pogo pins there. But, there, but only Logitech has, uses the smart connector. They a lot of them won't don't. They let anyone else besides Logitech. But one you're using is a Bluetooth. And I think that yeah, that's mine's... kind of the answer to the question. Uh, people don't want to pay the proprietary fees to mm -hmm. Apple for using the smart connector. When Bluetooth exists, and, and Apple even, frankly, prefers wireless for everything. They're, you're backing up wirelessly, you're syncing wirelessly, uh, you're pairing many things wirelessly, including the pencil. Uh, I think that it makes a lot of sense for a keyboard. I agree. I don't know why others haven't used it. Didn't we see like a kid's toy that used the smart connector that you put blocks on this? I feel like we saw some other things. They that used were the, Bluetooth. Most of that stuff's Bluetooth. That was Magic B. And no, I think, there's another oh. one. It, had, it was like Osmo or something. Oh. In any event, uh, I think it really comes down to the same reason people don't make a lot of uh, MFI made for iPhone stuff. You, Apple charges. Well, and they want it to be, like, to, in Apple's defense, they want it to work. They don't want it to mess up anything. They give Logitech a head start, and then it's hard to compete with Logitech. Right. Because they've already, they have the, you That's know. That's why they I always, bought this, Yeah, frankly. they come out, they come out when the iPads come out. Yeah. And so... Why would you wait three months and, you know, Apple says it's there's high costs and wait times for all the components. But, yeah, it, it is interesting. I don't know exactly what I would use it for. The I, advantage this has is you don't have to charge it like right. your Bluetooth keyboard. Yes. It has, it's backlit. There's enough power coming from the iPad. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I wish, I, wish the ma I wish the magnets were a little bit stronger. It's just it doesn't it's not yeah. it falls off all the time. Uh, I guess you could you can get cases that you know go all the way around, but Logitech chose to have it a two, be a two parter. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, and it's a little bulky, and it's you know I mean you don't want a case that does this, right? No. This is kind of icky. Yeah, I'm sliding the keyboard around on it, and that happens to me all the time. I drop the keyboard at home all the time, but when you do connect it, it really connects well. So yeah, and I this I mean this connects the Magic Keyboard connects through Bluetooth really well, um, but yes. it's an Apple Magic Keyboard. Yes. And I, you know, you don't have to charge it very often, right. but that's the problem. Like the things you charge every day are the things you remember to charge. I agree with you. 
Now you're coming around in my way of thinking. People always complain, oh, why isn't why can't an iPhone go three or four days? Well, it's better if you just charge it every night mm -hmm. because you'll forget and then you'll die on you. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So that is a good question. Uh, it is, and I don't know the real answer, but that's my suspicion. So we have one more question. Peter writes, I have a colleague who despises Apple, but I'm interested in giving him an iPad due to a venture we may be going into. Is there a way for him to use the iPad without having an iTunes and or iCloud account? So there is a difference between iTunes and iCloud account. Um, I think you don't need an iCloud account, but you need an Apple ID in order yeah. to use. You know, I've really thought about that, but there's... I think you have to you have an can't Apple ID. I mean, you can give them. That's how they prevent theft. Yeah, you can't log into a phone or or an iPad without an Apple ID, which is, of course, free to sign up for. But if you despise yeah. Apple so much, you don't want to give them your email address then. No, well, you're not really. You're making an email address with them. Uh, you, that account can be just an account you don't use for anything else except the iPad. But, I mean, if you despise Apple, it's not the account so much. It's the fact that everything is going through Apple. Mm -hmm. And so if, if that's a problem, then there's no way around that, whether you had to create an account or not. Uh, but you don't have to associate the account with anything else you do. Mm -hmm. It's just, every, but everything you do on the iPad or iPhone is associated with that account. So they can aggregate information about you. I think the thing is, despising Apple is really more of a um, political stance than anything else. It's not, there's no reason to despise anything. You can choose not to use something because you're concerned about privacy. A lot of people don't use google phones for that reason but but uh, this sounds more like it's just a personal problem <laughs> yeah or a personal issue perhaps yeah, maybe not yeah. a problem i i don't think people should either love or hate any computer company or technology company they don't love or hate you it's it's a it's an economic relationship it isn't it's not lo save love and hate for people you know not corporations That's good. corporations gonna... despite the supreme court corporations are not people I'm going to totally put that on Instagram today. I'm going to write it. I'm going to put save love and hate for people you know. <laughs> yes. Um, right? Yeah. Well, I why, think... Why people... Some, often people say, I love Apple. No, that's a mistake. It's just a tool. You don't right. love a hammer. Well, mm -hmm. actually, I actually really do love I mean, hammer. you can love Apple. You can love a hammer. Um, you feel... You have strong feelings about it, I guess. I guess. It's just a thing. Well, I get it. You know, and using the pixel... Love people, not things. Me. Yes. I get it, that idea that you feel frustrated with Apple not allowing you to do certain things because it thinks, because the company thinks it knows better than you. Yeah. You know, there's that idea that like, oh, well, I'm going to keep you in iMessage because it's easy and you need easy. So I, I get that. Yeah, I get it. You know what is easy? What's easy? Getting a mortgage. Oh, thank with you, Rocket, Rocket mortgage. mortgage. Man, this is so great. And I will do this the next time we buy a house because I regretted deeply going with the big bank for our home loan four years ago. It took so long. First, you have to go somewhere, right? You have to put on pants. You have to go to the bank. <laughs> First, you have to put on pants. <laughs> I hate that. Uh, you have to, well, you got to get dressed and you want to look good, right? You're going for a loan. So you put, maybe you'll put it on a, a necktie and, a, and so forth. And then you go and the guy, it's like f f straight out of the like 20th century. It's like our 19th century. He has to go through papers to look at the different rates and he has a calculator. And and even with all that pain, then you go home and then the pain, re the true pain begins because you've got to go find all this stuff, your bank statements, your pay stubs. This, this loan took us two months we were going on vacation in three weeks. We thought, well, for sure we'll get this house and get the loan before we leave. No, we were faxing stuff from a cruise ship. We called Debbie, Lisa's sister, and said, can you send them this and that? They kept coming back. It was a nightmare, and I am not making this up. It really was. Along comes the best lender in the nation. This is who I'm going to use from now on. Quicken Loans, number one in customer satisfaction, year after year after year, according to J.D. Power. Number one, that means, by the way, they're the best. They created, and I like them even more now because they created something called Rocket Mortgage. It makes it easy for you to get a loan. No more putting on pants. You could do this at home on your computer. You could do it better yet at an open house. You're wandering around looking at houses. You go, is it, this must happen to you sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. You've bought a few homes in your time. You go into a house, you go, I want to buy this. Let's buy this, honey. Oh, yeah, but now we got to put on pants. <laughs> Go to go to a lender. Well, you're wearing pants at the open house. <laughs> I'm wearing like, shorts. Is... I'm wearing shorts. Okay. I'm wearing yeah, okay. skorts. Uh, but uh, you could literally you pull out your phone. You go to RocketMortgage.com/ios today. Answer a few questions that you know in your head. You don't have to look up anything. I mean, I'm not kidding. That's all the information they need 
to then go to, they have trusted relationships with all the lenders because they're the biggest in the country. Quicken Loans, they're awesome. Uh, they get all the information they need from the lend, from the banks, from the, all everything. They crunch the numbers and based on your income, your assets and your credit, they will find the right loans for you and give you a choice. You choose the down payment, the term, the rate, all of which you qualify for. You say, this is the one that's right for me. And boom, you're approved at the open house in minutes, literally. Minute, not, not, not even 10 minutes, in a couple of minutes. Quicken Loans has put together the perfect mortgage solution, not just for buying, but for refinancing too. Get started. Just sign up uh, right now at rocketmortgage.com slash iOS today. Get, get, get that account going so when the time comes, you'll be ready. Rocketmortgage.com slash iOS today. Rocketmortgage.com slash iOS today. Equal housing lender license in all 50 states. NMLS consumer access .org, number uh, 3030. It really is worth it just to just to set that up now. It's time. Why are we wearing funny hats? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say my hat is funny. It's just a hat. It's cold outside. <laughs> it's very, very <laughs> funny. <laughs> you look like Elmo Fudd. Is that your hat? Because it doesn't look if it, it's your head exactly. Yeah. Well, I got it for just a couple of rubles in Russia, uh, and uh, they didn't have sizes. Oh, got it. Really, I got it for the pins. Yeah. You see this when you go to Russia. If when I bought it, I was kind of dumb. I was dopey. I thought, oh, look, they're selling the old Soviet Union surplus pins that were just lying around because I went to Russia in 89 or 90 and the, they'd already, you know, Soviet Union had fallen. Here's Lenin. Here's the star. And I thought, oh, this is so cool. These are old surplus pins. And I found out, no, no, no. There's such a tourist market for these. They still make them. Uh, <laughs> but I got the hat, not for the hat, but for the pins. It's loaded with mm -hmm. fun Soviet Union era pins. And I'm wearing this hat for one reason. For one reason. It's app cap time. Yay! We wear a funny hat. We talk about the apps that we've been using this week. And I have a plan for 2018. Is this your better self plan? <laughs> yeah, it's a, I'm living my best self. And I'm going to just sign up for the free 30-day trial for every workout app. Oh, and I, just cancel I'm going to tell you the one I like. Okay. The one I like is called Daily Burn. Oh, I haven't tried that one. And uh, you can try it free for 30 days. Oh, good. Because I signed up for Aptive, A-A-P-T-I-V. Oh, yeah, I was getting the ads for that one, too. Because um, they walk you, they, it's a trainer in your ear. Uh, well, this one you can take same? with you uh, for runs and such. Nice. Yes. Um, yeah, there's the have audio a, section. Uh, so you can we try should have like a, a face-off or something, like yeah. where you use one, I use the other one, and we see who. Yeah, Let's do that. Lives longer. <laughs> it's going to be a long, you have, I, have I a hope. I a head start on you. A long. Yeah. So you can, you can have the audio, bet. but I do the video. I do it at home um, on yeah, my Apple nice. TV. Nice. And you can do by program. So if you uh, want 15-minute belly button thighs or if you want the bar. Wait a minute, belly button and thighs? Belly. One workout? But. Oh, and three thighs. things. You get the belly, the butt, and the thighs. belly. I want a belly butt button workout. Do they have one the of those? No. I'd like to improve my belly. Your button. Your belly button is just fine. You've Leo. never seen my navel. <laughs> it's true, and I don't. I don't want and to. You never will. So. Um, I like to choose by trainer because I found this guy who's like I think he's sort of trying to be Eminem. His name is Cody. Yeah. Um, and does he I, tell you to lose yourself? <laughs> no, but uh, your do you know what Tabata is? Got to is? lose your what? Tabata. No. It's really, uh, it's eight rounds per move. Is that it's guy only... praying on the right? Don't no, make me do it again. Uh, let's check out Cody. Don't make me do it again. Um, there's Cody. Can you hear him? This is the only moment you're going to get. What you going to do with it? Isn't it like Eminem? Yeah. The engine is on fire. On fire. Maybe jalapeno spices. So this is what I do in the morning with Co and Cody. And by really? the way, you want to wake up to this because I would never do this in a gym. I would not stand. No, like I would never. It's embarrassing. Yeah, but by myself in my living room with me, just me and the oh, Apple TV. Oh, now I get the vision of you doing this. Yeah. <laughs> so this is on the Apple TV. Yeah, or the Tabata iPad. Tabata is tactical body weight training. Yeah. Tabata. Tactical body weight training. Tabata one. TBT is six. I actually like that because you don't have you don't have to have a gear. Or yes, it will yeah. tell you like you can as you're searching you can say um, do I, I have Tabata, no equipment? Baby. No, I have no equipment. So then don't give me an app oh. that I need a ball or a weight or any right. other. I actually garbage. have some equipment, so you can specify the equipment. Yeah, too. You, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, I think it shows each one will say like this what nice. equipment you need. Like if you'll need like yeah, a see, kettlebell. Yes, doesn't have video. It's just mat. the idea is it goes in your ears. Yeah. and they play music and this they talk to you. This one does both, and you can do I a program. Like so 
it'll remind okay. you. Oh, you may have found the best schedule. one. What's um, this called again? It's called Daily Burn. Daily Boing. And you can do all these programs. Well, I'm, they all have 30-day trials, so I'm doing the 30-day yeah, active. Yeah, me too. But I'll try the yeah. Daily Burn. I also okay. like this lady. She was very supportive to me. I don't remember what her name yeah, is. Yeah, see, I don't want, I don't want uh, Eminem in my ear. I want somebody saying, oh, you can story. do it. Because, gosh darn it, people like you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want that. Can I? Maybe this is a new Pregnancy. career for Al Franken. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> now that he's not in the Senate, he can, do, he can do workout. Pilates videos. phase two. Oh, I love Pilates. But that's Matt, right? Oh, yeah, that's hard. Yeah, it appears to be Matt. So, yeah. 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 So, Daily Burn, um, I think I wrote down what it was. I think it's like $12 <laughs> a month. Yeah, after. they're all like 99 bucks a year. Fourteen ninety five a month. Yeah. Or you buy a year yeah. and it's 100 bucks. I think they all kind of are competitive, mm -hmm. competitive with each other. Good. Uh, let's let's keep looking. This is good. I want to, oh, you can do bar, core. L.A. Blast, or is that La Blast? I don't know. And you can cancel any time, too, which is like the gym. That's the worst part of the gym. Like yeah. you're the, you're, you sign no, I know. up for the rest of your life. I know. You can cancel any time. I know. I'm waiting until the end of February for my gym to run out. Mm. Then I, then I, but that's why I'm looking for something like mm -hmm. this, because I'm thinking, I have weights at home. Right. I can, I can, you know, I have a bench. I have treadmills. I have bikes. I can do stuff. You I do, can do it. And you do it on your time. My problem is I need somebody to yell at me. I'll yell at you. No, I'll make not, a tape of me yelling at you. Yeah, you Lisa it. said I'll yell at you, and I said no. That's not good for our relationship. <laughs> I think but, it's fine for our relationship. But uh, yeah, you, I don't care. About <laughs> okay. No, I think an app is better, don't you? And then a variety of trainers, mm -hmm. and 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 I like the variety of workouts too. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good idea. If I could, so I'm going to try this one too. Okay. If I could find the right app, I might save hundreds of dollars on mm -hmm. the gym, right? That's I mean, yeah, if you do it, if you just do the 30 day trials every month and then cancel, you pay nothing. Mm. But of Aren't course, you we'll a probably cheapskate. forget to cancel. I am. I am. So after you work out, you probably I, I actually this is true. When I go to the work the gym and I do my workout with a trainer and I get home, you would think you'd jump in the shower, come to work. No, I just lie in the bed like this. Uh I can't move for like an hour till I recover. Right. And that's why we're late today. That's why we're late every day. <laughs> this is so you're looking for something you can do. This is called Kensho. This is a really beautiful game without a lot of explication, again, about what's going on. Like, what's this deer? I don't know. Oh, I can buy a stuffed deer. Wow. That's kind of strange. Um, you can continue. You can take a picture. <laughs> take a picture. Nice. That's that's nice. I got a picture. Let me share that picture with, with you. Yeah, please do. Why would you want to do that? No one knows. But it, it may be if you were in a tough level that you solved it. Okay, I don't know what that means either. There's buttons you press. So who knows what they mean? I don't know what they mean. Continue. Okay. So now you can... I'm in this world. I think each door is like a level. But I'm not sure. Let me show you. Let me go back to the easy level because I'm, I'm on a stuck level right now. Nope, we're back on the stuck level. So this is, you you move stuff by sliding the screen. So it's very easy. Like I, I, you know, I slide that way or slide that way, slide up. That's actually where that belongs. Now I can slide up. Notice he can't move because he's in it. But how do I get these? Oh, I'm gonna flip. No. What are those things? Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Popeye. There. Oh, they're little bricks. Now, how am I going to solve that? That's an interesting challenge. I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. I know. No one does. Oh, that's so frustrating. So I'm, it, that's, it's like that. So I'm trying to get this yellow brick on that post, right? But every time I do that, it slides this one over. See, I got these two on their posts feels like I'm putting the bottom sheet on the bed or something. Yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure there's a good way to solve this that I'm not thinking of. Oh, that's good. I locked that in. No. What if I lock that and then do that? Aha! Very satisfying. Ken Shaw! No one knows what it means. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm now... So I completed that level. Now let's move on. This is a, it's a fun game. Um, hey, stuff keeps showing up, I'm sorry. Uh, good music, good sound. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't know what any of this means. Don't, don't know what any of this means. It's like, 
what am I supposed to? Am I tap and hold to skip? I don't. Is this free? Ouch. No, it's a couple of bucks. Worth it. It's not. Uh, I. You know what? I don't look for games that are free anymore because I know they're going to get you. They're mm -hmm. going to say, oh, you need to buy Kensho stones. But it did offer to buy you, sell you a deer or something. Yeah, maybe they, maybe, but the, but the game is a couple of bucks, and you, they don't bug you except, and you don't have, you don't get the deer unless you tap the deer. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's explaining stuff. Now, I should be watching this instead of talking to you. Mm -hmm. Sorry, <laughs> I want the universe to open up before me. Okay, enjoying it, not now. Go away. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm showing it as my app cap. Oh, new level, the Forgotten Jungle. So. It would be nice. Great stones only move in one direction. Oh, see, it's getting harder and harder and harder. I would be really nice if I could go back. <sighs> These stones only move left or right. So you see, I'm what I'm trying to do, it's kind of like Tetris. I'm trying to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, crumb. If you get three in a row, they go away, right? Mm -hmm. Or four in a row. That's nice. But what I'm trying to do is get these pieces because then I can unlock a puzzle. See, and that, because it has the barriers, I can't... Anyway, it's really fun, believe it or not. It's it's kind of reminds me of 2048, you know, where you slide the numbers around? Mm -hmm. Except this is not numbers, they're stones. It's a little bejewel like Whoops, that was a mistake. Good. Whew. Marvelous. Um, anyway, this is really... It maybe it's not for everybody. You know, every some games are. You know, this is some, sometimes you'll have a game that you like, but it would drive people crazy if they had to play it. it might be that kind of game for you. It's very. Oh, pretty. see, I failed because I, I there's no more moves. Oh. You're trying to clear the board. See this one, I can only match with green vertically. And more stones are being added all the time, so. And that's where you can get into trouble. See, that doesn't match, even though it should, but it doesn't because of those barrier stones. These will match, though. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You get where I'm coming from, Jelly Bean? Ken Show. Ken Show. It maybe was written by a guy named Ken. I'm not show. <laughs> but, um, oh, I blew it. Did you see how I blew that? S H O. Yeah. It's faux Japanese for uh -oh. you don't know what the hell you're doing, do you? Um, but it's fun. It's satisfying. It's the kind of thing after you do that big workout mm -hmm. where you just want to go lie in bed for for a while and not move. It's $3.99. Three, okay, $3.99. Thank you. $3.99. And you can begin your journey through a surreal world. I like games. I am now all in on games that I pay for. This because is like 52 I don't want... Yeah, it's by 52. I don't want to um, pay later. I just want to play the game, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm coming mm -hmm. from? <sighs> Ken Show. Ken it's can show you. It's a play for puzzle fans, according to Apple. Yeah. Yeah, Apple picked this as like a thing. Mm -hmm. Like they liked it. Thing. See, I got, I got that. Now I got to... All I got to do is... <laughs> Iowa Today records every Tuesday what? at 9 a.m. <gasps> Watch, here it comes. Pacific. Victory. I got a new piece. <laughs> and and love uh, your videos. You, Send us your videos. Say, oh, yeah, we, we do that again. Yeah, do You it guys, again. that was good when you did that. Megan at twit.tv. Uh, you can, I think someone tried to share it with me uh, through Google. That Box. works? I don't know if, I think maybe our network blocked it, but... Um, it's easier if you just upload it to YouTube yeah. and send us a link. Mm -hmm. And you can upload it privately so only we can see it. You know, you don't have to make it public. And I believe our phone number is not working. So if you want what? to send in just <laughs> our... Did we forget to pay the bill again? Maybe. <laughs> forget. If you want to send in a voice, just record a voice memo and then email that to me. And... We love hearing from you. If you oh, have we do. complaints, criticisms. No, we don't love that. Uh, compliments, that we questions, love. answers. Yep. Megan at twit.tv. I'm at Megan Maroney on Twitter. You can join I don't even us. mind if you want to dress like the vice principal and and berate me. That's okay. I can live with <laughs> That's that. That's not encouraging people to send videos. No, he was good though. He, he, had, a, he had a tie on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I was sitting across the, the desk from the vice principal. <laughs> Leo, justify this. <laughs> it really, it. I've had flashbacks. 
And we have some visitors today. We love having <sighs> visitors. Tell but us at twit.tv. don't surprise us. Did Mo pull his gun on you? No, because he <laughs> knew you were coming. Tickets at twit.tv. Email us. You guys can wave. They that can way see. we don't have to... We don't have to engage in violence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we don't do that. But but we do we do want, you know, for security reasons, I want to make sure everybody... Uh, you don't want anyone to steal those pins. These pins are so valuable. They don't make them anymore, you know. They're from the Soviet era. Mm -hmm. You can buy Bitcoin with them, John says. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on iOS Today.